Online schooling has taken a toll on everyone, from little infants to primary schoolers to high schoolers and even parents. One of the main reasons why children are falling behind is because of the new online classes. What are some challenges you face at home or at the Y that at school you wouldn't really have to worry about? When you submit at the Y and at home when you submit your work, sometimes it doesn't give you a full grade. Like when you get a thing correct, you sometimes wrong it. There are many things you have to go through on a daily basis while trying to upload your work, like your work can get lost in your computer or device. You might have to start all over again. Or you actually did the work and handed it in, but the teacher still cannot access your work. If you were to go back to school and you would have, you could tell the teachers one thing that you didn't like about what they did over the COVID break. What would it, what would it be? Some teachers don't put the, they just put the video in. They don't explain the video. They don't give examples. They will just give the video without explaining it or giving any examples. Like what mostly do you miss about school? Um, my teachers and my friends. But the YMCA has made an easier way for these students who are struggling with both their work and miss seeing other children. They offer access to computers and adults willing to explain the assignments. This has been a big boost for students like Cariel Jones. It improved my grades. I, I never been a top A student, but now much better. I asked Dr. Cuellar about the adjustments the YMCA had to make to accommodate this mode of learning. I think that the young people, you're right, led us in this direction of change because they wanted to still come. We know they needed the help. And we had enough senior youths, which would be junior college and those who just graduated, who say, OK, let's put our heads together and help. Um, so the biggest adjustment was what platform, what software would we use to help that will make sure our primary schoolers stay safe, that would make it easy for the retired teachers to use because they didn't use computers when they were teaching. I think the reopening of schools for in-person learning is needed because so many children are struggling. For example, at my school, which is Wesley College, only half of the students get to work fully online. Many have to pick up their packages with the work. So I think school needs to open up again because everyone deserves to be back in the classroom and everyone deserves the same amount of learning as the others. Even if there is COVID, we can wear a shield and mask and learn how to adjust to the new rules. Nairi Kissling reporting for News 5.